hello my little apples welcome back to another video or if you're new here hi i'm amanda from apples and amandas today we're going to talk about all the things that i ate i like to start off my day every single morning with a big glass of apple cider vinegar and warm water and then i go into my yoga practice or go on a walk Today, after my yoga practice, I decided that I wanted this matcha latte from Daily Harvest, which was super easy to make, and the ingredients were so wholesome and clear and very super foody. The only ingredients were matcha, lemongrass, coconut, MCT oil, maple, and chlorella. I used boiling water, but you can also use microwave almond milk or soy milk or also boil a plant milk. You also don't have to use a frother, but I find that using a frother, which I got for like $10, really mixes in everything together and makes it more creamy tasting. Then we went on to a smoothie for breakfast, which had a couple of bananas. Strawberries have been so good lately. I just went to the store and they were 88 cents per package so naturally my sister and I got 10 packages so we are on strawberry overload right now I also added in some mushroom lemonade mix with charcoal and chaga in it and it makes the smoothie black but it's because of the charcoal which is supposedly very good for detoxification and digestion I also put in a few tablespoons of hemp seeds to make the smoothie creamy add in the omega-3s and fat content as well as protein and then added in some some almond milk and gave it a little blend. Okay, so lunch was really exciting because it was my first time ever trying out a meal from Vistro, which is a plant-based meal delivery service. They have a variety of different meals, such as breakfast, entrees, soups, dessert, and juices. The meals that I got from this order were pod thai, I had a chicken wrap, a pepperoni pizza, as well as a couple juices and a sushi bowl. Everything, again, is 100% plant-based. And I've honestly been seeing Vistro everywhere on social media, especially in the vegan community, so I had to give it a try. They have meals like red curry with tofu, enchilada casseroles, soba noodles and peanut sauce, a veggie lasagna and the one that I tried today was a pad thai. It was super simple All I did was open up the package and put it into a pan and let it heat over Medium high heat until everything was fully heated Vistro offers fully prepared meals. They're chef crafted. They have organic ingredients. They're preservative free Which was really interesting because I looked at the ingredients for each of the meals and I was like Wow, I can actually identify all of the ingredients on this list. It was so good that I had to share with my niece and nephew who also approved, so Vistro is definitely kid-friendly. And today for lunch, I served them the pizza that I ordered, and this was their reaction. It's yummy! Yummy! Thanks for all my pizza. Yeah. 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 So if you're interested in giving Vistro a try, I've asked them for a discount code for all of you guys and you can get 20% off any a la carte orders as long as you use the code AMANDA20. You can check out all the details as well as the link in the description below. Snack time slash post-workout time. I love me my celery with almond butter and look, I didn't even know that it made a shape of a heart when I put it on the plate, but you know, that just tells you where my heart is. I also had some strawberries and, okay, hear me out protein powder. This is a salted caramel protein powder from Blessed Protein that I've been obsessed with lately. This snack, honestly, it looks weird, but you have to try it to understand. You just take the strawberry, you dip it in the protein powder, and then you eat it. It's like the sweet with the tart of the strawberry just mixed together and create this goodness. It kind of reminds me of when you dip a strawberry in sugar or if you have chocolate covered strawberries, obviously this is like a salted caramel covered strawberry, but you just, you guys have to try it. Like I mentioned before, along with meals, Vistro also has fresh juices, which they deliver frozen. So as soon as I got it, I just put it in the fridge. This one is the Beet Zinger, which has beet, green apple, lemon, and ginger. And I'm looking at the website right now. It's only $6.99 per bottle, whereas the juices in the local shop around me sell their juices from $8 to $13. Like, um, yes, let's save a little money. For dinner, I had something that I like to call a pasta salad. It's not your normal pasta salad that you would get at an Italian restaurant. It's actually just a bunch of vegetables, raw and cooked with some pasta sauce mixed with it. But it really makes me happy. And you know what? I love it. 
So we start off with some romaine lettuce. Gives a nice crunch. It's full of vitamin K and A, and it's very refreshing compared to the other textures and tastes of the rest of the salad. I chopped up some baby power greens, which is baby kale, baby Swiss chard, and baby spinach. And then into a pot, I put some zucchini, celery, and red Swiss chard to cook and steam together. Now I have been obsessed with celery lately. I have no idea why because I used to hate celery and for some reason I just tried it once and I was like, I think I like celery now. And ever since then, I feel like I've eaten a head of celery every single day. Here's a hack for saving as much of the celery as possible and getting in as many nutrients as possible. I like to chop up the entire celery, leaves and stalk included, and just put it into the pot of the vegetables that I'm going to steam and let it all cook together. So rather than throwing it away, at least I can get some of the nutrients in the rest of my food. And I literally use a celery down to the last bit of it. I also sliced some grape tomatoes that I would put on the top of the salad. While the vegetables are cooking, I usually clean around the kitchen and assemble the easier, more prepped parts of my salad, which are putting the greens on the bottom, as well as adding in a whole avocado. That's right, you heard it, a whole avocado. I remember I used to go from only eating half an avocado every other day because I was on this whole low fat, high carb thing. But now my body's like, yo, where's my whole avocado? My body can tell when I didn't give it a whole avocado the day before. I can literally feel it. Avocados have so many health benefits, not just for your heart and for your hair, skin, and nails, but also for your brain. And if you want to learn more, I made a whole video on avocados, so make sure you check that out after you watch this video. Anyway, after the veggies have completely cooked, I put some pasta sauce in there. This is a tomato basil marinara that I got from Sprouts that just mixed perfectly in. And then I add a healthy douse of nutritional yeast. Wow, that looked like a waterfall. I'm not sure if you saw that. Let's see that again. Yep, that is a waterfall of nutritional yeast, which is, by the way, full of B vitamins and protein, and it has a nice cheesy flavor. Then I just put the whole mixture on top of my raw greens, and then I add on the sliced tomatoes, as well as some tofu, which I just sliced and put on top. Some people don't like the taste of tofu and they have to like marinate it and bake it, but I just, I love the taste of tofu even if it's uncooked, which by the way, can be eaten that way. It's already ready to eat. But if you want, feel free to air fry it, bake it, toss it in a pan, saute it in some oil, if you eat oil, soy sauce, whatever sauce you want. But you know, I just chose the lazy way cubed it and put it right on top of my salad and now it looks like feta cheese but I promise it is not cheese it's tofu I just bought this golden sauerkraut at the farmer's market the other week because I realized that I haven't been really eating that many probiotics I've been taking probiotics but I haven't really been eating that many this sauerkraut is made with some turmeric and that's why it's orange so I just topped that right on top and I've noticed the past couple weeks that I've been eating this huge salad with a nice dollop of sauerkraut on top my digestion has been pretty on point and I'd like to say it's because of the probiotics in the sauerkraut and then I drizzled on a very healthy amount of tahini on top Top, as well as some pumpkin seeds and that was my dinner for dessert I had a plate of strawberries with some coconut sugar to dip it in on the side as well as some peanut butter filled pretzels and that was everything I ate today I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got some new meal ideas if you liked it please make sure you press the like button subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post the next video I hope you are all having a wonderful morning noon day or night and I'll see you guys next time love you guys Bye.